here in Rwanda, every street they always have beans. When you're in Rwanda, they don't have street food. And so when you're in Kigali city center, where it's downtown, you have different parks where you can pass your time with your friends. Build up anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy. Huh. For those who've been watching me for quite some time, you already know I was really obsessed uh, with Kigali City. So today we are in the streets of Nairobi, and I want to show you how clean and beautiful my city is. As you can see on this side, we have a bit of greenery. How Nairobi is a uh, clean, and I feel like I have the need to insist on this because Nairobi City does not get the credit that it deserves. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl, Chrissy D, African Diva. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm doing great here in Kenya. And uh, you know, if you're watching me and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, comment, and share this video with your friends and loved ones. Uh, we are road to 10,000 subscribers. Kindly subscribe and share the link with your friends and loved ones. Again, yeah, so on today's episode, I've been to this uh, beautiful country that I want uh, to do a comparison of these two beautiful countries. That is in Kenya and uh, Rwanda. And I wanna compare between Kigali, Rwanda, and Kenya, uh, Nairobi, Kenya. So for those who don't know, Kigali is the capital city of the beautiful land of a thousand hills, Rwanda. That is the capital city and the most beautiful town that I've visited so far. Quite green, very beautiful. And uh, come to Kenya, Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya, the pride of Africa, as they all say it, or some call it the capital city of Africa. I don't know what you guys think about that. Tell me in the comment section. So on today's episode, I want to compare. I've been doing my own research and I've been to these two cities. So I have uh, written down uh, some of the things that I want us to discuss about these uh, two beautiful cities. So... As a traveler, of course, there are people who keep on asking me why this country and not this one. There are people who've been asking me which country would you like rather I go and live in which city between Nairobi and Kigali because these are the most places that I would say that I know much about because I've been in Kigali for quite a good time. Yes, I stayed there for quite a good time. And of course, I've lived in Kenya like all my life, you know. So uh number one that i would ask first us to discuss is geography and climate between these uh two countries uh, for those who don't know nairobi is actually located at a higher altitude with a general cooler climate compared to other east african cities that is compared to kigali compared to uh you know uh dar salaam compared to kampala yes and uh, with this uh, the weather in nairobi apart from the uh, past few days the weather has been quite crazy i would say it's been quite cold very gloomy but the weather in nairobi it's always mostly uh we have a tropical weather here in nairobi so it's a mixture of subtropical and you know just a little bit of wet and uh, dry some of the time of the year it just depends i think with this time range with the climate change and everything that has been going on that this has not only been affecting kenya but most parts of the world not only in africa but other parts of the world you know uh come to kigali kigali is uh, situated uh in a more tropical rainforest zone and guys let me tell you i love kigali weather i love the weather in kigali city live alone here we're talking about these two cities nairobi and kigali live alone the other parts of rwanda kigali has the best weather i would say you know this is a city that i've visited that even if it rains and the rain stops in the next few minutes it's all kind of dry it's all like the weather is just fine and you can go on with your business but when it rains in nairobi you don't know if i even want to be working in the next uh in the, the following day because it's might be a bit crazy if the rainfall was that huge so uh for me actually kigali weather favors me you know because they have moderate weather almost all through the year i don't know you've visited kigali you can tell me you know 
you can tell me what you think about the weather but that is the experience that i got when i was in kigali and it was quite it was quite good if i was choosing where to live uh uh you know in uh you know concerns with how the weather is i'll definitely go for kigali i'm not even lying so i'm doing this video at the end of it you you decide where you want to be for those who've been asking which city would you want uh or advise me to you know because everyone has their own preference i have my own preference i'm sure you got your own preference you know uh let's talk about culture and people as you know, Nairobi is a melting pot of culture with a vibrant mix of Kenya ethnicity. The city is also known for its bustling market, diverse food scenes, and lively nightlife. So come to Nairobi. Uh, it's actually, I think Nairobi compared to Kigali, it's more diverse. Uh, this is a place where you get to find people from different parts of the world. Uh, you know, you also get to meet uh, places like a place called Nairobi Street Kitchen whereby you can try different cuisines from different parts of the world. And come of nightlife, I think, for the places that have been to no offense nairobi has the best nightlife i mean like let me say in east africa i've been been to any other part outside east africa you know yeah so nairobi nightlife food here in nairobi when you want to try like food from in any part of the world not only in africa but any part of the world like nairobi has it it has everything that you need you know actually i saw this video where somebody a lady an african-american lady who said um you know don't call me african-american because in america we black american eat i don't know boiled crabs and everything else like lady we got those in kenya just come and you you know you just fit in yeah so uh let's go over kigali you know it's known for its cleanliness and it's very like kigali is very organized i would say the order in kigali i don't think there is any country live alone in east africa i don't think there is any city there is any country's capital city that will match the organization and the cleanliness that they have in uh, Kigali city. That is the only place I mean you can eat in Agata. You see what, what the Maya did? I mean, it's the only country that you'll be comfortable to like, you know, sit on the ground and be eating your food. Like Kigali, if you haven't been to Kigali, you're definitely missing out and you need to visit, you know? And also the culture is more homogeneous with strong Rwandan tradition, like, even in the capital city it's not like the way people think nairobi is westernized like kigali is very culturalized it's very tradition like just the way they do their things you know they don't uh pretend to be so westernized they don't you know it's just it just feels great to be in kigali for some you know some of the things that i miss we still have in kenya this is from my own personal experience don't come at me because i know you can answer you like coming at me sometimes because of the things that i'm saying this is just from a personal experience and at the end of the day i mean we are all africans but of course everyone has a preference where they would want to stay or live tell me what you guys think on the comment section i don't know what do you feel you know tell me what you think yeah so also in kigali you know um it's also renowned for its cultural heritage, historical sites, and community-centered lifestyle. Like, you know, they have uh, most historical sites that they have in uh, uh, Rwanda, in most parts of the can country, where you get to visit the Genocide Memorial, which actually tells a uh, very painful uh, history of Rwanda that is back in uh, 30 years ago. Yeah. So... Uh, let's go of uh, attraction and activities. As you know, Nairobi is known as the home of wildlife. I mean, the only city in the whole world that has a national park in the middle of the city. Like, if there is any other city, you guys tell me. I would want to know. Maybe I'm missing out and I'm not sure. So, you see there's Nairobi National Park, uh, we have the Giraffe Center, we have the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. 
animal lovers if you love animals if you want to experience wildlife in a deeper level then nairobi city is the place for you to be i'm not even lying like this is a place that you'll enjoy everything that you would want to when it comes to wildlife for people who've never experienced wildlife and you want to do a, a pocket friendly safari then uh, if you're planning to visit africa for that nairobi city is the best quite affordable it's just a one day safari and you get to experience the wildlife you get to visit the giraffe center and you get also get to visit the you know the animal uh the david sheldrick uh, wildlife so also for that is for animal lovers there is a current Blixen museum for those people who love to learn more about history you can also visit the bombers of kenya for historical and cultural uh insights that's quite a place to be especially the bombers of kenya so current blixen it actually talks more of current blixen uh for those who don't know about her you can just google and you'll find every uh detail that you need to know but it's also quite a nice place to visit and learn more about how she started her business of coffee and everything uh here in kenya so uh when it comes to kigali they have the genocide memorial which is a crucial historical site uh they have inema art for contemporary rwanda art they have nyamirambo women's center this is actually a place that i really love i follow them on instagram uh, it offers cultural tours and local experiences so like the kigali genocide you get to learn more about rwandan history you know you get to learn more about the country uh you know because people keep on saying ah, kigali is such a small country uh you know their their development does not even worry us because it's a small country yes i'm not even like fighting with that yes rwanda is a small country but the development the growth that this country has gained, that this city has gained within a period of 30 years, there is no even any other part of the world, any other city, any other country that would do that within a period of 30 years. I don't think there is. And if there is, I'm ready for the debate. Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, so let's go to number four, that is transportation. As you all know, Nairobi is quite you all know nairobi for the traffic that we have our matatus we call them ganyas you know uh, so nairobi is known for its traffic congestion options includes matatus that are those are the shared minibuses or you can also share uh, buses taxis and you know we have an uh, a uh, uh, rail system that actually some of them operate within the city nairobi county the some that goes from nairobi up to kisumu and of course now we have the sgr that makes it quite easy for you to access mombasa uh, it's very convenient uh it's quite safe compared to the bus you know i think for me i think the train is quite safe compared to the buses uh that we do have or what do you guys think tell me so for kigali when it comes to transport the traffic is more manageable like you don't even like get stuck in traffic in kigali for over five minutes that has at least that's never uh, happened to me uh during my visit in rwanda it never happened i mean in kigali because that is what we're talking about and you know they have different uh you know means of transport uh public transport including the motor taxis which are mostly used they call them motor they are mostly used in all parts of uh, Rwanda, but more commonly used in Kigali. So if you're moving, moving from point A to point B and you don't want to get stuck in traffic, if you're moving to go anywhere in uh, Kigali city, uh, quite easy, quite convenient and very affordable, you all better go for taxis, motor taxis, I mean, they're quite affordable. The motorbikes, they're the ones that they call motor in uh, Kigali, Rwanda. So you better go for that. Uh, it's quite, you know, quite convenient and they also have, um, uh, they have a growing bus system, uh, which is okay for the buses. I didn't really like them that much because you have to wait for a long time. They are now like still in the system of introducing the buses. So, you know, in the process of introducing before everything gets, uh, you know, to settle down, it's, it's not that easy, but the buses are quite convenient and the most 
affordable uh, buses I've used before you know you cannot compare them to Kenya because with like 50 cent you like go to the city and back home uh, depending on where you're living and most buses are not even past 50 cents in when you're living in Kigali city my Rwandese people, if I'm lying uh, or if I got the information wrong or if things have changed since I was in Kigali, you should let me know. I would love to know on the comment section, you know. Uh, you know, they also have like, you know, they have uh, Ubers and uh, they have uh, actually in Kigali, they are not called Uber. I'm forgetting the name. They have a local name that they call them. Um, Yego, yeah, they have Yego cabs. I don't know why they called the Yego because I actually got to learn that Yego means yes in Kenya Rwanda. So if you know why they're called Yego, you can tell me on the comment section. Yeah, and you know, their buses are quite organized, you know, very organized. It's quite easy and they actually don't pay with cash. No, uh, it's they, it's, they're called tap and go buses. So it's actually a cashless system that they do have there on their buses. When you go to Kigali, you better make sure you try the buses. Like, I mean, what's the point of you visiting a country? It's for you to get to see the differences between where you've been or differences between your country and, you know, the one that you're visiting. Let's uh, go to cost of living. Cost of living, I actually think generally like Nairobi is more expensive, especially in terms of accommodation and dining out. However, there are a wide range of options catering to different budgets. Yeah, compared to like, like now here in, uh, when it comes to accommodation as a tourist, you know, I toured Kigali so many times and they have, uh, they offer, uh, you know, a variety of places that you can sleep. Like they offer like private rooms, Airbnbs, which are quite affordable as from, from low as $10 a night. You can be lucky and get a hostel, which probably might cost you 5 to $7 a night. Hostels are things that I don't get to see in Nairobi. I don't know why my people in the real estate business, why are you not introducing hostels in Nairobi? They are quite easy for people to to travel to. Tell me, you guys, I would love to know. Um, hmm. So when it comes to Kigali, it's actually more affordable, lower cost of accommodation and food. The city provides good value for money in terms of services and dining. Like, you know, there's a place I used to go in uh, Kigali. It's called Nyamirama. They have the amazing food and their food costs from um, $3 to $5. You've had a great meal and some drinks. That is for one person. In Nairobi, you'll never get unless you go for KFC. And that is it's actually more expensive with, without even a drink, you know. In Nairobi, you will not find that. So when you are traveling on a budget and you're looking for a city that you want to travel and you're not from Nairobi, you're not from Kigali, maybe you would love to start with Kigali because it's quite affordable. And, you know, very easy to, you know, to move around and like Nairobi. Uh, so let's come to safety and cleanliness. As you all know, Nairobi offers a mix of experiences. Uh, while it's generally safe, uh, although travelers should be cautious of their surrounding, that is what I would say, you know, uh, of, you know, certain areas, you know. But I think so far, like Nairobi has made some improvement when it comes to cleanliness, like uh, I should give that to the Nairobi County government. I don't know if it's the previous gov government that was there or it's the current government, but to be honest, compared to the last few years, Nairobi is becoming more cleaner and I hope they keep up with this good work, you know. Uh, so Kigali is known for its cleanliness and the most safest country or most safest city for a solo woman traveler so if it's safe for a solo woman traveler so why not you gents so it's quite safe for you to, to move around in kigali and this is something that i know because there's actually a time i was doing a live stream uh in kigali at a place near where they have the convention center uh i think that area is called nyaruta rama 
if I'm not, is it Nyarutarama? No, it's not Nyarutarama. I don't remember the name, but um, it's quite safe. I was doing a live stream for a whole one hour and I just had my phone and stand. No one was bothering me. I didn't even feel, I didn't feel like threatened or anything of the sort or I'm gonna lose my phone. So yeah, I would say being in Kigali, having stayed there for quite some time, I would say it's quite safe, you know? Yeah, so those are the points that I mostly had on. If there are other points that we should add on these guys, you should let me know, you should tell me. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, if I've been asked to choose of a place that I could live in uh, between uh, uh, Kigali and Nairobi, it would be so hard for me. I would live in between uh, both cities. Sometime in Nairobi, sometime in uh, Kigali, because I love the, I love them both the same way. Of which I love Nairobi more because at the end of the day, it's my home city. You know, born, raised, and worked in Nairobi for quite a long time. But when I went to Rwanda, actually the first time I visited Kigali, I was like, I want to own a property here. I want to live here because it's quite different having come from Nairobi. The weather, like. The, the smell of the green of the trees they have trees everywhere in kigali city and we are talking about the capital city like and it's quite clean you know the place the, the city is quite quiet so if you're looking for such a kind of life a very quiet serenity kind of life uh you know where you even sometimes don't even feel like you when you don't even want to be in a big city, in a big chaotic city, then definitely Kigali city is for you. If you want to be in a chaotic city, noisy city with so much going on, then Nairobi city is for you. If you watched this video and you have a, you have traveled both of these cities, let me know which one would be your favorite city. Let me know one which one would you live in. Let me know if you're not from these uh, both cities and you've been to both of these cities, which one would you rather invest in? Investment is actually another topic that or another episode that we'll discuss on both of these cities. So if you watched me and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly consider subscribing. It's your girl Grace is your African if I leave your thoughts on the comment section. Remember to be positive on the comment section remember that love is free and i'm just airing my opinion and uh, this is from my own personal experience these are things that i sat down and you know uh had to come up with this uh from the experience that i experienced during my visit in rwanda i'd also love to hear your thoughts on the comment section subscribe to the channel if you haven't again we are to 10,000 subscribers subscribe to the channel and also guys i have a new youtube channel by the name afro now kindly i would love you to go there and support me uh subscribe to the channel the link will be on the first the first actually comment on this video will be from afro now i'll pin it it will be on the pinned comment section so kindly go subscribe and until the next episode bye